I got very panicked because I could see flames right behind our house on the hill, on the ridge, and that's when I started getting ready. I ran upstairs long enough to get my purse and the car keys, and by the time I ran downstairs, our house was on fire. The winds were out of control. It's amazing how fast the whole thing happened. It was a blizzard of embers. When the embers started flying in big chunks of them, that's when we really panicked and we said, now it's time to go. I told my daughter, pack things like you are not going to come back. It was, it was absolutely, um, it was like Armageddon. Wildfires can be as unpredictable and uncontrollable as the winds that often drive them. Fire moves dangerously fast. It is wild, powerful, and erratic. You never know when or where a fire will start or end. Homes near natural areas, what firefighters call the wildland urban interface, are beautiful places to live. The natural beauty of these areas adds to the quality of life, but not without risk. Fires are a part of their ecology. Living near the wildland means living with the threat of wildfire. That's why we're introducing the Ready, Set, Go program, a wildfire action plan that gets you, the resident, involved early on in protecting your home. We are going to teach you how to properly prepare your house, your family, and pets for the next wildfire. Our goal is to have residents following our evacuation orders early with the knowledge that they've done everything they can to protect their homes. There are two major ways to make your home wildfire ready so you can go early as the fire approaches. The first step in preparation is adding or retrofitting your home with fire resistive building construction features. Hardening the home is a term that we're using for taking those measures necessary to protect your home from flames, radiant heat, and ember intrusion. To get more information on making your home and property wildfire ready, check with your local fire department. The other step in preparing for a wildfire is creating defensible space. Defensible space is a buffer between the flaming front and your home. By keeping the vegetation down and away from your home, this allows for reduction of direct flame impingement on your house. Firefighters always recommend that you comply with any evacuation order and go early. Staying and ignoring an evacuation order may be a fatal mistake. Most brush fire fatalities occur when people evacuate too late and are overtaken by a fast moving fire. To avoid this, be ready for evacuations well before they are ordered. So that's why we're talking to you today, is to let you know that get out early. Don't stay, don't think you're gonna survive in these environments, it's not going to happen. Leaving early doesn't just give you, your family, and pets the best chance of survival. It also leaves the roads open for firefighters to move around more freely. When we're looking at an evacuation, we have to give ourselves enough time for that entire area to evacuate. So you can't look at it as just how long is it going to take me personally to evacuate, because you're not accounting for a lot of different things that could potentially go wrong. When I see all the things that were melted, in our case, we would not stay. It's not important to me. You know, my house is perishable and you know, I have good insurance, but all that means is I just want to take care of my kids. A fire is not worth your life. In the end, remember, your safety and the safety of your family should be your number one priority. It's a high risk gamble to stay during a wildfire. Know all the consequences of staying and everyone it affects. The best bet is to get your home wildfire ready now. Be set when the fire comes and go early.